Jonathan Chung and I are... <laughs> no? I, I wasn't in the Glee Club. We were just discussing that. You were in the Squash Club. Oh, no. like, oh good Okay, one. we have to explain. Jonathan Chung, who we love on the show, is from Appetite for Books. If you've not been, you are out of your mind. Check out all the information. It's on BTMontreal.ca. it. Last time you were here, you threw down a challenge. I said that I hated, and it's a strong word, spaghetti squash, and you said... Nay, Joanne, nay. I always say everything tastes good if it's cooked the right way, and hopefully, I was just saying, if I put enough butter and garlic in it, I'm thinking you might like it. I, I love anything covered in garlic and butter. But uh, Okay, so here's the thing. It's squash season. Before we get to the sexual thing, what is the most common mistake people make when cooking a squash? Uh, I'm not big on, uh, uh, well, actually, Using the right one for the right dish does help. The good thing is that a lot of the squashes you can kind of interchange. Um, but Interchangeable squashes? Yeah, yeah. Like most of these are, are really great to eat. This one right here, which yeah. is very common. Never heard of it. <laughs> this, is, this is really great for Halloween time and yeah. to carve. Not necessarily to eat. Okay. So um, this although one for everything looks. else, for, yeah, for, this for one for looks. looks. Yeah. Everything else, really great to eat. And and in Quebec, uh, it's very common. We can get spaghetti squash, which we have right here. Butternut squash, which Favorite. everybody knows. Everyone everybody loves butternut loves. squash. What is this one? This one's gray. It's yeah. very rare to see a gray vegetable. It's called a Hubbard squash. Yeah. Uh, um, really nice to eat. You can cut it open. It, the the thing with these, you need a really sharp knife to cut them open. But uh, just roast them up. Really tasty. That's the very. That's probably the easiest way to to do it. Well, let's get to the spaghetti. So, so speaking of speaking of roasting squash, yes. uh, we're gonna start off with the spaghetti squash. Oh, let's do it. Okay. okay, this is this is this is you convincing me. That's right. It, all Why is it called the spaghetti squash? First okay, of all? well, first of all, to prepare it, just cut it in half, roast it in the oven. I did it at about 375. Takes about half an hour, 45 minutes. Take it out, and then with a fork, all you have to do is run it through like so, and it comes out in strands, just like Hence that. Hence the spaghetti Hence squash, the spaghetti people. spaghetti squash. Used uh, a lot as an alternative to pasta. You can just throw some pasta sauce on it, whatever See, you like. See, that's what I did the only time that I use it, and it didn't taste good. But I am now thinking back on that event and think that I may have burnt the spaghetti squash. It is possible. So let's talk about this. Well, okay. this is going to be a warm side dish, really great, very simple. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is just shred it, throw it into a bowl, and in a pan, just saute a little bit of onion, a oh, little so bit good. of garlic, some fresh herbs, some thyme, and rosemary and some butter. Butter is our friend. And and what you can do is just toss the squash in or just toss it in like so. Give it a little mix. Can I give it a mix? Give it a little mix. Okay. And uh, and also we'll throw in a little bit of freshly crumbled up parsley, mm. just like so. And, then? and we have a really nice simple side dish, maybe a little bit of salt season and some pepper. Jonathan brought the biggest pepper mill in the universe to our show and we're very happy with it. Okay, Great. so should so, I try this? Yeah, well here, we'll just throw it onto a plate mm -hmm. and, and we'll give it a we'll give it a little taste. And then we actually have one more dish that we're gonna do. Yeah. So that's a really nice simple side dish that you can Perfect. Uh, serve up at the table. Let me have a taste while you talk about the next Okay, the, yeah. next, the next dish we're gonna be using what is called kabuchu squash or buttercup squash. You're right, it's delicious. Good. Yes. We have a converter. Yes. Done. Mission Next. accomplished. Okay. Show's over. Show's over. Bye, Diana. All right. Uh, we've got. We're gonna do a little salad here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna use the buttercup squash, which is the green one right over there. Just dump everything in. So we've got the squash that I roasted with a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper. I have some uh, majul dates. We'll just Ooh. throw those in. That looks wonderful. We're gonna throw in a, uh, all that parsley. All of it. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna squeeze in a little bit of lemon juice. My eye. I'm kidding. Uh <laughs> squeeze in a little bit of lemon juice, and then we're gonna season with some salt. A little bit of pepper, and we'll give it a quick toss. I like guess. Yeah, just like that. Okay. We'll and garnish with a few roasted uh, pumpkin seeds, seeds or pumpkin seeds. Oops. Yeah. Wow, and this is like a perfect salad. A you're really, saying. really nice, simple salad. And then just to finish it off, we're gonna take a little bit of Parmesan cheese because Parmesan cheese goes great with everything. Agreed. And uh, we'll just shave that on top. If you want, you can chop this up and throw it inside and just have it mixed up. But we'll just. Shave a little on top. You know where this is going? In my mouth. Mmm. Mmm. Jonathan Chung. I have to say, appetite for books. I'm eating with my mouth. Oh, I'm chewing, talking with my mouth, mouth open. Jonathan Chung, appetite for books. All of these great recipes available on btmontreal.ca. And That's you right. did it. You did it. Spaghetti squash, I am now a fan. Thank you so much. And Thanks we will see you very, very soon. Thanks Guys, stay tuned. Lots more to come. You're watching Breakfast Television only on City.